Hi, my name is Ingrid Dahm and I'm a watercolorist and I found the most beautiful garden to paint for today. So my husband is filming it and he's just showing you the garden first and then I start painting as soon as I'm ready to get going. So uh, I love those flowers. My friend actually has those uh, garden so I couldn't resist to come over and paint it. So uh, here I am starting this beautiful garden. Those uh, lilies and seniors and all those gorgeous colors. I can't wait. I used today, I'm using today a, a canvas, a watercolor canvas. Now this sometimes give me, gives me a little trouble because it reacts completely different than what I'm used to. Um, but I am going to go try it today and something will come out of it. So here I start. Um, wow. I don't know where to start. It's so much. Anyway, it might, maybe the, the yellow lilies in the back there. Okay, here we go. Probably avoid the uh, daisies, but the lilies are, are amazing. I just love those lilies. And they do react a little different. The, the canvas reacts completely different. So I sometimes struggle a little bit more, but uh, again, you know, try something new. Uh, never be afraid of trying something new. As you saw the, the garden before, here they are, the lilies and then this lilies. There's so many different kinds here. A little touch of pink actually in there. Okay, there is it. Okay, here we go. Wow. This canvas doesn't let the watercolor flow as it does in other. Uh, and on paper, I do like, like the paper, but then on the other hand, uh, the canvas is really nice. Once you're done, you just hang it up, or put it in the frame or leave it off and, and here you are, finished. Uh, and with the paper, you have to put it in the, you have to put it in the, uh, in a frame, in a mat, in a frame, and, and this all uh, takes time. So many paintings of mine are in in the drawers because I don't I paint a lot and I don't always put them in frames. So so many beautiful lilies. I just love those. Okay, but okay, my husband, where are you going? Okay, yeah, yeah. Don't forget the yellows. You you have to think about those colors. Leave the light colors out because you cannot retrieve them anymore. Don't forget them. So leave uh, the right part out. Yep. Well, here we go. Those seniors are just beautiful.
There are so many flowers, I don't know where to go. It's amazing. Now we have the petunias. Wow, they are strong. And of course we have those little buttons. I don't know what they are called. So many flowers, I don't know where to start. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Let's see, it's running away on me. Again, just touch it and let it be. Oh, there's a yellow, strong yellow flower. I love to put this in here. Uh, because they are down here too. So, and those petunias, wow. are open but I don't need to because they are so dark in there in the middle so I don't need those is only come out when the surroundings are right. So I'm going to do other daisy here. So not too many. There's a little one. And maybe I do other ones here. Uh, so a small one. And then here are lots of yellow. Oh my goodness, there are so many flowers here. I don't know where to start first. One thing is when you paint outside, there's always a challenge, of course. It's hot, it's sunny, uh, something we all just have to deal with. Uh, maybe not always the perfect spot, but uh, sometimes you're right smack in the sun. But that's what a painter does because he likes to paint or she likes to paint. Um, you just have to deal with it, there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, and I must admit, I do less and less from it now because it's so much more effort. But on the other hand, it's just so wonderful to be outside anyway, so uh, I can persist to be outside. Um, I love to be outside. Wow. All this. Of course, you have the problem with the noise too. That's just how it goes. Uh, you can't. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? I finally made it. It took me for a little while. Okay, I love. Yeah, I am going to. Just going to chisel some flowers out, some some leaves, and try to get some 
interest into this painting now. That's all I want to get now, a little interest. It's, uh, put some leaves in there, they're all over the place. Up. Okay. And as you notice, I constantly go with the dogs in there, so uh, the dogs really will pull my flowers out. Um, and it's kind of overwhelming with all those, uh, with all those flowers today. I maybe overdid it a little bit, but then if I don't try, I won't ever know if I like it or not. So. Again, always try something new. Always don't be afraid of it. Those, uh, those flowers, they didn't quite make it, but, well, it's okay. They ran together on me. As you notice here, I go right over the rails because I need some some leaves on there too. I wonder if this is a lily still. out of it. I like my, too many flowers anyway. I'm using the same brush, the one I bought, which I struggled so much before, and suddenly, of course, I like it. So it's really strange how the more I work with things, the more I start liking things. Oh. Now I'm just really not even looking at my photograph anymore. I'm not looking at... Um, um, of course, I don't have the garden anyway anymore, so I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I'm just really just trying to take things out here. Um, I want to get this going here, and I have to figure out how this... Okay, I think I got it. It, when you are out in the sunshine, I can you won't believe how it blinds you. You don't see anything anymore. Like, oh my gosh, where am I going with this thing? So uh, again, that's the pleasure of working outside. So now let's see what I do with this silly flowers here. They are, actually, they're really cute, but. Uh, I kind of lost it here, but let's see if I can do something with it still. Sometimes you can rectify it. You know, more, the more mistakes you make, the more you try to, to uh, work it out, the more fun you have, actually. Uh, at this moment, I really, to the point, I don't even care anymore. I just go in there and have fun. And if it's not coming out, it's not coming out. So at least I had fun doing it. So, uh, and I really keep on telling you the same thing. Just, hi, I'm back again. I tried in the morning, I started out the painting, 
And wouldn't you know, this is the second time we tried to work at this garden. The first time it was so noisy because the neighbor was doing the roof. And then I started this painting and then the, the mowers and the blowers and everyone came along to make a lot of noise. So I gave up again, but here I took it home. I did take a picture and I thought maybe I just can work uh, at home now. So I'm trying to do my best. Let's see how I'm going to make it here. I'm going to dig out a few um, lilies, which I wanted to do in the first place, but it was very hard. And, then the, and actually, to paint out in the sunshine, it really uh, the, it blinds you a great deal. So I'm actually happy to be home now because it's difficult to see when you um, when you're outside so I'm going to do this and just pretend I'm out in the in, at the in the garden so again I'm doing it I relax I do um, my brush strokes, the way I like to do them, and on the end you will realize they all look like lilies. So I, those are a little bit more difficult because it's so, they are so light, and, and then we looked at the garden early in the morning. There are lots of daisies, but I didn't put them in. Again, as I often say, we are the boss in our uh, paintings, so we can do what we want to do. If we want to do um, uh, more lilies or not, we just do what we want to do. So. Okay, I'm going to just dig a few lilies out here. That's a huge lily, so... Uh, okay. I don't think I even saw it in the morning in the sunshine. It's so hard to see. So difficult. Okay, I'm gonna do this here. As I said in the morning, I, I'm using um, a watercolor canvas and it always gives me a little challenge in the, um, in the beginning because um, it doesn't move as I would like to have it move, so, um, but after I've, I use it a little while, it's eventually, I say, oh yeah, I like it pretty much, but it takes me a little while to get used to it, so, um, And again, I dance around wherever I want to. Now I see other lily I want to finish up here. 
Okay, let's get this one going here. You probably don't see as much in there, but when it's all finished, you will see it. One, two, three, four, five. I have one missing here. There are usually three, six, uh, six petals in the lilies. So, now those, those are just petunias. Boy, are they strong. Ooh. They're almost black in the middle, uh, almost black. I'm going to touch a little touch of black because they're so dark they need to be uh, oh oops a daisy and I don't even have a paper towel here oh yes I do okay Okay. Those are kind of cute little flowers. And my friend told me which what their name is and I of course forgot again. So next time when I'm over there I'll ask her again. They're really kind of cute. I like little buttons actually. They look like a little clover, clover flowers. I don't know exactly. She has so many flowers in there. And what are those? Those are the seniors. I tried to do more of them, but boy, um, it's gotten pretty noisy over there. I just didn't like it anymore. It's crazy. Those little seniors, have, they have thousands of petals and of course, I don't have the patience for all this. Uh, let's do one here. Now, those things, are they? I think they were put in this too. So, are they? Can I see the picture here? Uh, yes. Well, I'll go. just have a Fun time, but okay. I'm going to do the same thing here. Those are all the tunnels too. I oh, have plenty of them. I'm going to put the... Let's see how they come out. So... This in there, these are the little flowers when, when early in the morning, the seniors. And those, I think they're going to just get the little, those two. And those little things I had here planned, they are actually, they're going to be daisies so I'm going to just 
chisel them out on So don't leave the line around here, just move it right out, otherwise it looks like uh, surrounded just by one line. So I'm going to do it here again. And then I clean the brush and I just move it out. Do this here. And maybe lay down. I even go go dark a little lay down there. Okay, I'm just going to. Oh, oops, a daisy. Oh well. No. 